Well, hi. Today is the 22nd of April, and I am on my way down right now from O'Hare Airport to the Shawnee National Forest in Southern Illinois. It's about five hours of driving down to Shawnee. I'm not gonna put you through all that, but uh, I'll see you guys there. And these are some cliffs. Don't want to go flying off. Wow. This is pretty amazing. Garden of the Gods. I believe that is what's known as Camel Rock. Can't believe I'm here in person looking at it. You you would not even know this is Illinois. Really shame about this rain. There it is. That's why they call it Camel Rock. You can kind of see that is the hump, and then the neck, and then the head right there. Let's go check that out. Fifteen, twenty foot drop from where I'm at. This is amazing.
I would love to go down there and check that out though. Let's see, we got some more rock formations up there. Very, very, very cool. This is worth the five hour drive. So this over here is the Indian Point Trailhead, which is very close by to the Garden of the Gods. And I'm positive that it is actually, um, you know, a, a shorter trail. And because it's raining so badly right now, um, I kind of want to stay closer to the car. So I'm not going to go venturing out into the Garden of the Gods wilderness um, on the other side of Camel Rock. I'm going to stick to following this trail because it looks like it's pretty well polished. So um, because it's raining so bad, I'm going to throw my uh i'm gonna throw the camera inside the waterproof case so i apologize if the you know video quality sucks or the um not the video quality but the sound quality so let's give this a shot i'm gonna start hiking throwing on all the rain gear as you can see and uh i'm gonna be putting my rain cover on my pack so good stuff let's get out there Go. Garden of the Gods Wilderness. So I don't know if you can tell on the camera, but here we are at the trailhead. Overnight parking permitted. We're going to be going this way. We're going to go to Indian Point. And I hope this is a fun trail. Like I said, I'm trying to stay close to the car, so. Do it. Really wet. Really freaking wet. It's gonna be fun getting a fire going in this weather. Beautiful. Even in this rainy weather. Oh, I'm glad I came this way. Some pine forests up ahead. Love pine forests. There's one thing coming out this way I didn't expect to see, but driving down this way from Chicago, man, it changed. This almost feels more like Wisconsin than it does Illinois. Glad I brought rain gear. And even though I thought that this was going to be a sunny day, it is wet. At least it's warm. Uh, trees down. And the 
the Forest Service has been out here lately. And here's something cool for you. this For trail markers, I don't see many. This road looks this way looks a little more traveled. I'm gonna go this way. If I get lost, I'll turn around. But it seems like it's time to get a little darker. It's about five o'clock. Hoping that I can. Set up camp, we get a fire building at some point. This would be an awesome place to camp. Look at that. Look at that cliff down there. This place is very cool. Very freaking cool, man. Gotta bring my buddies out here. Check that. Check that out. That is too freaking cool. Yeah, we're gonna try it. We're gonna go down there. That's really sweet. This trail is really man. I'm surprised. I didn't think that this trail would be as cool as it is, but. Alright, this is pretty steep, but. I'm gonna give it a try, anyways.
Janenko over here. But that is that is amazing. Doesn't get better than this. Wow. Wow. Alright, let's go back up. Again, for everybody at home, this is the Indian Point Trail. Oh, rough trails going up though. This steep. It's very steep. A little bit higher. Huh. Well, despite the rain. Turned out to be pretty fun. Didn't expect it. But man, am I glad I came here. Here we go. This is what I was looking for. Blue trail markers. Tells me I'm on the right track. Because I wasn't sure earlier. But I missed part of that trail. I'm a little nervous about the ticks. There's a lot of them down here. Oh, oh, almost slipped. Almost slipped in the mud. Look at that. Oh man, I'm already half battery. Alright. We'll be back. Well, I think that's where I was before. I was up there. Trail wound around. Just wanted to get a quick shot of this spot along the trail, this cave that I found, man. It's pretty awesome. We we'll definitely go climbing up in there, but right now I really just want to find a place where I can set up camp before it gets too dark. Check that out. Pretty awesome. Somebody stack some kerns, man. A little further up here, and you can tell this is exactly where I was filming earlier. It is so steep, I can't get up there. Probably could go up to about where that ridge is, but past that, I, I can't climb up that. It's like 10 feet tall, maybe taller. And I don't know if it looks like that in the video. Like I said, I'm not breaking a leg out here. Some very, very impressive cliff. I really got to be careful where I'm walking because it doesn't, may not look like it in the video, but man, it's steep out here. It is steep. I only saw one person so far. There are a lot of people at the Garden of the Gods, but out here, not so much. Pretty cool. One thing. Let's get going momentum going down these hills. It's hard to stop. Now, that is steep in there. I was almost thinking about camping out in one of the caves, but I don't know if I really want to. I'm kinda of scared to be in there. But that is that is too cool, man. Way too beautiful.
campsite for the night. Yeah, man. Let's go take a look. Yeah, man. This might be it. Dry. Got a little campfire pit here. And yeah, we're gonna take a break here. It's a nice little spot. I really don't know if it's gonna get better than this. Alright, I'm calling it. It's dry as a bone in here. This is along the trail. There's a little fireplace, fire pit there. Got it flat-ish ground that I can set up my tent on and look at that view man this is this is beautiful even with the rain which seems like it's starting to stop thankfully it's turned out to be a good night because I don't have to worry about my tent getting soaked I can let the stuff that is wet dry out and I can get a fire going if I can find dry enough wood it's about quarter after six it's gonna be getting dark soon and uh, I want to make sure that I can hunker down and have some food because I've barely eaten all day and get a good night's sleep so this is awesome this is awesome Shawnee National Forest at home this is this is a Kelty Salida 2. This is one of the most budget friendly backpacking tents that I think you could find and the uh, reason being is because it's it's about a hundred dollars maybe well a little bit more than that but depending on who you buy it from I got mine on Amazon and it's just an all-around good tent. It's got a great size aluminum tent poles and it's very lightweight. Um, it's a two-person tent and it weighs about five pounds, a little less than that. So for a two-person tent that's not really, that's, that's pretty good weight. So you can see the poles just kind of snap together. Really nice lightweight aluminum poles. The bag is still dry. That's a good thing. Pretty comfy in there, man. I am so happy about all this. So, so happy. Can't even tell you guys how happy I am right now. Man, this is cool. And the rain's back. And home sweet home. So I'm uh, drying out this rain gear actually worked out pretty well for me to be able to do that although i'm gonna have to do that more later because i gotta go back out there and find firewood if i'm gonna cook tonight so we're gonna get that done real quick pretty dry pretty dry in there even though the outside is terrible it'll work about it's almost 8 30 at night and uh finally got the fire going 
but I hate to say it, but the wood was just so wet. It took me forever to get this fire going. So uh, maybe tomorrow will be drier. And I had a lot of fun today. This fire is the most rejuvenating thing ever. Um, it's actually really heating up this, the inside of this cave. The only bad thing about this site is that uh, the smoke kind of stays in the cave. And every once in a while, the wind will blow it out. But, um, yeah. Yeah, look at that goodness. They're dripping right on the fire. Man, these are good. I am super hungry right now. Just want to show you the goodness that I am eating. Oh man. Bacon cheddar. Bacon cheddar brats. What an awesome day. Not gonna lie, I was a little scared. Day started off awesome. I got out of the door on time. Started driving down. And once I started to get into southern Illinois, I just noticed well, the rain hit hard. And uh, I was worried about this trip. Then I got here, checked out Garden of the Gods. Found out the ranger station was closed and had no idea where to go. And thankfully, I took a chance on this trail. I didn't know about it. I just decided to go down here, and it ended up being awesome. And if it wasn't for this cave, I would be it would be cold and rainy and miserable. But this worked out extremely well. I'm very happy. Well... Next order of business is to be going to sleep. Have a little bit of whiskey. Thank you Trevor and Kayla for all the camping amenities. You guys rock. You made this trip happen. It's got to be after 9 o'clock. I have no idea, but I'm tired. I'm ready to go to bed. It's still raining. I'm sure you can hear that. My eyes are all smoky. But my stomach is full, and I'm warm, and I'm dry. I'm going to get some sleep. I'm going to wake up tomorrow morning, make some coffee, do a little hiking, probably head back to the car, see if I can drive back into town where I can get some reception and text my wife, because I'm sure she has no idea that I'm okay, because I don't have any reception and my texts aren't going through, so... I'm going to have to do that just to make sure she knows I'm alright. Because <clears throat> I said I would text her. And I tried to, but I couldn't. So she might think I'm dying. <laughs> Anyways, guys. Have a good night. Sorry it's so dark. I'm drying. Ugh. Good night. Well, good morning. It's about 6.30, it's pretty cold, it's about 45 degrees outside, maybe colder, and it is still raining, did not stop at all last night, so I'm going to get up and uh, make some coffee in a minute, try to get myself warm and uh, start breaking down camp, go hiking. I was able to get some cell phone reception last night, and it seems like everything's going good at home, so. Coolest campsite ever. I am really pleased with this. This is, this is really cool. Look at that. Freaking awesome campsite. Coming back here for sure. Well, I just broke down camp. Everything into that backpack right there. And last night, I kept hearing all this dripping from inside the cave. And I was wondering where that was coming from. You can see that dark spot back there along the wall. 
is like a little chimney there. It was dripping down and went right underneath my tent. But that's okay. Anyways, I'm starving. I need to get some food in my belly. So I'm going to make some oatmeal. There we go, man. This one's for my only subscriber. You know who you are. You love Dark Matter Coffee. That is not Dark Matter, unfortunately. But it's still pretty good. Gotta get you out here on the trail, man. Yep, that looks good. Ooh. Need to get a, a new pouring set, setup. Cause this doesn't quite do it. I'm a little scared I'm going to drop this. Actually, let's put that down and adjust it. Money or enough uh, water left over for oatmeal. That's not good. Anyways, that's almost done brewing. Look at that. Now that's what I call trail coffee. Breakfast with a view. on the trail I already went through one battery and the phone battery is getting kind of low so I'm gonna stop filming on that and I'm probably gonna film sparingly with this one because I don't really know how far exactly it is to the car but once I get back there I'll definitely charge this but then I'll have to find a another place to camp or a hike or whatever I'm gonna do may just stay on this trail I don't know Playing it by here. I thought that would stress me out, but I'm actually kind of enjoying it. So, this is what I'm looking at here. The video probably does not do this justice, but these hills are huge. And that's probably like a hundred foot difference in elevation to the bottom, which is pretty impressive. So, anyways, next stop is going to be. Indian Point Trailhead, Indian Point, and uh, if I see anything cool along the way, I'll update for you. But for now, see you when I get there.
Now this is a campsite. If it wasn't raining last night, I would have camped here. Wow. This is, this is pretty high up. There's fire pits all over the place here. I bet you people come up and camp here. I totally would. Free to camp too. Incredible. I feel like I'm in the mountains. But that's Illinois. Actually, I don't know which way I'm facing, but that could be Kentucky. But damn, look at that. This might be Indian Point, I don't know. I really don't know where Indian Point is. I'm just going on the trail. And if I end up staying out here for another night, that's fine, because, oh my gosh, cactus. <laughs> Where am I? This is like a different world. That's incredible. I've never seen cactus in Illinois growing naturally before. Look at that. These boulders, they're gigantic. They're the biggest clips I've ever seen in my life. Wow, and you can camp anywhere in here. Look at this, another campsite right on the cliff. I can't believe there's nobody out here. This is like paradise. Fire pit. Set up your tent somewhere up there. And then you got the whole view. I think there's something like 233,000 acres of land that I read that online in Shawnee National Forest. This is incredible. I gotta stop saying that. <laughs> All right, I gotta get back on the trail. Well, I guess that was it. So there's those pine forests. And I remember walking up to this fork and seeing the trail marker and it told me to go that way. And I went that way, and I just came out of that way. So, I guess where I was standing before, and I was wondering where it was, if that was Indian Point. That was Indian Point. So this is a pretty short trail. I'd say this is maybe like three, no, not even, maybe like two miles. This is definitely a short trail. So I'm gonna be back to the car in like five minutes. I guess we'll pick another place to go. So, but I will say, these views were well worth the drive out here. Um, I'm definitely going to come back here for like an overnighter and camp. Maybe not an overnighter. That's a lot of driving for an overnighter. But come out and, and camp on one of those cliff tops because that was a cool campsite. And another thing that I want to do when I get back is uh, make a short little separate video about Shawnee National Forest and just some information for backpackers because uh, there's not a whole lot out there 
I mean, there there is a, the United States Forest Service website that they have for Shawnee, but it doesn't give you much specific information. Um, it does tell you where where you can and cannot camp, you know, things like that. List the different areas that you can go to, but it doesn't tell you really where they are, how long the trails are, things like that. Um, and I was kind of hoping to do like multiple nights, you know, away from my car. Um, but I don't know if it's possible out here with these trail systems because they're all pretty short and they're all kind of spread out. Like if I want to go to another trail right now, I got to go back to my car and drive there. I can't just hike it. I know that there is the, um, uh, the river to river trail, which crosses the southern tip of Illinois from, I think, what is it, Ohio to Kentucky. Um, that's pretty cool, but, and maybe one day I'll do that. I have a friend, hey Joe, who, who does that. Check out his Facebook page, Midwest Adventures, and also Tent Life Productions. He does some really cool stuff, organizes trips to take people out, and he's the guy who got me started into backpacking. So, uh, thanks Joe. I want to show you guys what I did here. So this is the Indian Point Trail. So I parked here, started here, and I'm pretty sure that what I did was I turned this way. And I must have camped somewhere along here. And then I kept walking until I hit Indian Point, and then came straight back. Weird. It sure isn't what I felt like I did, but We'll see. I can look that up later. Hey, car. Go for a drive. My old Mazda. It's only 10.30 in the morning, and it's starting to rain again. That's great. So I guess this is a good timing. I managed to be able to hike today without getting drenched on. Um, so what I'm going to do is try to drive out to get some reception and see if I can head to another area of the forest that I had in mind called Lusk Creek Wilderness. All right, well, I'm charging stuff. I'm charging the camera batteries, charging my phone, and um, let's go, uh, go drive around a little bit. All right, well, this whole trip just took another turn. So I got back to my car and I was trying to evaluate where I wanted to go next. And I decided just to drive back over to Garden of the Gods and, you know, maybe take a look around. And there is a forest ranger there. So I got out of my car, talked to him. The dude was super cool. <laughs> Had this beard down to here. He gave me a bunch of maps and um, basically basically told me what, I, what options I had. So right now I'm going to a place called uh, Rim Rock. Apparently there's some old stairs there put in by the CCC. And then after that, uh, and that's about seven minutes from where I'm at right now. So that's super close by. And then after that, um, what I'm gonna do is go and head out to the Lust Creek Wilderness, uh, which I've heard a lot about. I've seen a lot of stuff uh, online about that. And that's about a half hour from Rimrock. So, and Rimrock is really short, it's, it's pretty much just a place. So I'm just gonna run through there and hike. Just check it out. I'm not even gonna take my backpack out. I might make some lunch, and then, um, and then I'm gonna drive on over to Lust Creek and start hiking. Do some, do some backpacking, man. Uh, he said I can camp out there. I can camp anywhere I want in Lust Creek for free, man. I'm used to paying 25 bucks a night for a campsite out by Chicago, anywhere that's even decent, and that's overcrowded with people, and. I mean, this is, this is so much fun. So, cool. Alright, well, I'm here at the Rim Rock uh, area, <coughs> which has got a nice little paved path. I think this trail is supposed to be like, I think two miles out and back. So we'll get this done pretty quickly. All this rain. Everything's just so wet out here. I don't want to take off my rain pants yet. 
until this stuff starts to dry, but it's so hilly out here. Earlier when I was camping on the Indian Point Trail this morning, um, I was able to actually fill up my water bottle filter uh, from some of the water that was running off the rocks. It was like a waterfall, just a little one, but because I didn't know how, how long I'd be without being able to find water, and that was perfect. It was right by the campsite. I had to hike up about 30 feet to get to it, but it was really pretty. It's a really nice paved path. Pretty good views all in through here, too. Everywhere you go down here, there's cliffs, which I think is so cool. There's not many places in Illinois that I know about that do that. I can actually hear some running water, too. Some more cliffs. This is such a short trail that since I charged my phone in the car, I'm just going to use my phone camera. <clears throat> I'm not expecting any extreme conditions out here to take out my little knockoff GoPro. Which, by the way, that thing's been working pretty darn well. Let's take a look over here. A little trail leading down to the cliff. Don't fall off. Nice view all above the treetops. It's funny because one thing I've noticed since coming out this way, being in higher elevation, is that you get these fir trees out here that you don't see in the northern parts of Illinois. This, this really feels like I'm in Wisconsin almost. It's just so different. So different than the rest of Illinois. And I can't believe it. I've never been here. My family would have loved it here. I'm surprised they've never been here. There's a lot that they could have hiked. There's some decent campsites. It's not like the other places that we go, like White Pines. or well, That's really the only place we've gone in a long time. But there's other stuff to do. This is just all the runoff from the rain last night. Just little streams everywhere. How's this for some beautiful terrain? I was looking forward to coming to here. The guy was telling me that these stairs were built by the CCC back in the 30s. The program put in place during the Great Depression to create jobs. Whether or not you think that that was a successful program, one thing can be said is that there sure are some beautiful natural, national forests. Didn't know Illinois had any of them. Alright, we're for sure going down here. Look at that. That is all the rainwater from last night coming down these cliffs. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Dude, this is awesome. Holy shit. That's 
waterfalls going on. Little cave back there. Yeah, this is a good recommendation. I'm glad I ran into that ranger because I had no clue this was so close by to where I was. And what he told me is that you cannot camp in this area but hiking it's a nice, cool little trip. Look at this. This is incredible. Crazy. Wow. <laughs> really sucks that I can't camp back here because this is so cool. Although I wouldn't want to be down here during a rainstorm because it looks like it floods. Another cave back there. Man, this would be such a cool place to, to camp. Too bad. Too bad. Can't do it. Get in trouble. Don't want to get kicked out. Especially not from a place like this. Absolutely beautiful. Check out the waterfall. You just want to come to relax and reflect on things. That's what it's all about. One more cool little area. There's the cliff. Overhangs and a little cave underneath. I'm not going to film too much more of this area because I've got a, a lot of video footage already that I need to go home and edit. It's probably going to take a few hours. And i got more yet to come, so I'm going to get out of here. I mean, if I see something really cool, I'll film it, but i got to get a move on.
It's almost one o'clock. Well, here's an update for you. Been a while, I know. And there's a reason for that. So what started out being one of the most awesome days ever took a nasty turn. So I mentioned to you guys earlier that I ran into a ranger. Um, and he kind of told me a little bit more about the park and some cool places I could go. So he drew me out a map. And... On this map, he told me that there was a spot kind of off-road that I could go and check out. So, it was down this, this road. Um, I, it was supposed to be, in the direction that I was heading, it was supposed to be off the left. And there was, I drove up and down the road several times looking for it, and there was only one place where I could actually go off-road. So, I decided to go and check it out. And by this point, the sun had come out. It was a beautiful day. Um, and I had already seen on the way a place down the road called um, Bl uh, Burden Falls. Backtrack to this road that I thought I was supposed to go down. It wasn't even a road. It was just an entrance into a field. But I couldn't tell it was a field from the road. So I drove in. And then I started to go down a hill. And um, when I got down the hill, I, I realized this is the wrong way. So I turned around to try and get out. And... Um, well, you guys saw how much rain there was last night. Um, I kind of got stuck for a long time. Like several hours. And uh, I called the park service. They sent this guy out. He wasn't even part of the park service. And he tried helping me as much as he could. I really appreciate that. Definitely a good Samaritan. Um, he set me up with some tools to try and like... It's kind of like a hitch for my car to, to get me out. But none of that was, was working because it was just, I needed to be towed out. So, you know, he, he ended up telling me that was the best he could do, and he left. And I was freaking out because I was trying to call different towing places, and they were all closed for the night. And this guy who was turkey hunting drove down the road and saw me and um, hit a nice uh, uh, SUV. And uh, he was able to tow me out of there. But by this point, it was already dark. And it also had rained a lot more. Um, it cleared up for like two, three hours. And, uh, well, well, while we were trying to get my car out, it was pouring rain. So it was pretty awful. Everything is soaked. Um, I couldn't do... My gear is pretty good. My gear was in the car. Thank God. But my boots, my boots are completely drenched. They're outside the tent drying right now. Um, so by, by, the, by the time this guy got me out, uh, which was super nice of him, I actually started to leave the uh, the forest. I, I was like, you know what, I'm just, at this point, I should just go home. My car is a mess. I need to clean it out. And um, I actually started heading back to Chicago. And then at the last minute, I just told myself, you know what, no. I came here to camp, to backpack and explore. 
and that's what I wanted to do. So I went back down the road to Burden Falls, um, which I had seen earlier, and I really liked it. And I hiked out here probably about a mile, uh, maybe longer, through pitch black. I had my headlamp. I actually walked across a waterfall. Um, and I was I was walking along cliffs. I was totally scared, but I was also excited because I didn't know what would happen. But anyways, I, I found a spot kind of off the path uh, that seemed flat enough. And I pinched my tent here. And uh, I'm really excited for what I'm going to wake up to because um, I can tell by looking up through the trees and at the moon that I'm in a pine forest. And these are some tall pines. This looks promising. So the weather spo is supposed to clear up tomorrow. This was the last of the rain today according to some people I spoke to. So I hope that tomorrow will be a nice morning. Um, and then I'm just going to pack up, do a little bit of exploring, but then I'm heading back to the car and I'm going home. So Shawnee National Forest almost defeated me. So because I couldn't have a fire tonight, I'm actually just eating some cheese and crackers right now in my tent. It's pretty late. And... Um, I don't really have any cell phone reception. And uh, I know what a lot of people are probably thinking, Matt, what are you doing with food in your tent? Why are you eating in your tent? But to be honest with you, there aren't really any animals that are going to come fuck with me tonight. So I doubt anything bigger than a raccoon would try to come in here for food around here. But anyways, I also have some whiskey, and I'm going to drink that. I hope you guys can see, by the way. I know that this tent or this camera is not the best, and uh, I'm I'm trying to do my best with the lighting here to get me illuminated, but I don't know how much it's working. So, but you guys can hear me. I just want to point out that when I go to the Porcupine Mountains, I will not be doing this. I will be hanging. A food bag. What a day, man. What a day. Sorry, I didn't film anything for you guys, but... There wasn't much to film except for my frustration. And feeling really stupid at getting my car stuck in a field. Who does that? Who drives into a field on a downward slope knowing that this park has just been, this forest has just been drenched by rain for the past 24 hours? This moron does that. I am just happy that I was able to get the car out without any cost, any financial cost. Like, I'm sure a tow company would have charged me two, three hundred dollars. That was a close one. I was really scared that I wasn't going to be able to get it out because it just it kept raining. Every single day here since Sunday, it has rained. And um, so the ground is just nothing but mud. And I was kind of worried that if I did call a tow truck company that they'd probably tell me, no, we can't get you out. <sighs> I'm glad I got out. I'm glad I'm back in a tent. And I'm back on schedule with what I wanted to do but thank you for watching I'm sorry I look so weird I'm very tired <laughs> and I hope that you enjoy these videos see you in the morning good morning so pretty well it's about 6 30 I just want to show what I woke up to this morning out of my tent this is what I hiked out into last night in the middle of the rain pretty cool pretty cool the trail is over there about a hundred yards so I didn't come off the trail that far. But, yeah, it's beautiful out here. So, really, at this point, I'm just going to be breaking down tent, uh, breaking down camp, pack up, 
Um, I'm not going to make any breakfast or coffee or anything this morning, um, although I might do that in the car. at the road. Alright, here's the trail. So this is what I was hiking all last night. It's very pretty in here. But I wish I had seen all this in the daylight when I was hiking. At least I had some fun yesterday. Getting the car stuck was really a disappointment. I was very frustrated. <laughs> Looking back on it, I think it would be it would have been cool to have some pictures and show you what I did for a good laugh, but I was not in a laughing mood at the time. Oh, spider web. Woo. Yesterday afternoon was bad. But I made it to camp, despite it being dark out and raining, and there was a rushing waterfall, and I still had a good night's rest. I did not go home early, and you're going to see the falls. I'm going to show you Burden Falls. It's very pretty. Here we go. Now we're finally back to some nice views. I was hiking along this last night in the dark. Pretty scary. You can probably hear the falls in the distance. We're gonna go over there and make some breakfast. Hopefully get out of here by like 8.30, 9 o'clock. Be back home around 2. Some waterfalls over there. Let's go. Wow. It'd be pretty cool to camp down there. I wonder if there's a way down. We're going to try and find one. This is what I was crossing in the middle of the night. Right above the waterfalls. Looks like the water's gone down a little bit since then. Very pretty. I'd like to get down over there if I can and try to set up lunch for breakfast. Let's do it. Trails over here.
Gonna get low enough for that one. Hi car, I'm happy to see you're not stuck in the mud today. You're a good boy, you're a good boy, did you laugh? Alright, well I'm back at home. Just wanted to take a minute to wrap things up, not leave anyone hanging. Um, got here safe and sound. Uh, the drive back was very smooth now that I knew where I was going. Um, <clears throat> so at the end of those last couple of videos, you saw me hiking out of the Burden Falls wilderness. Um, and I had, uh, after I had camped there overnight, um, I was going to try and get down to below the waterfalls so that I could um, just make some quick breakfast. But by that point, it was already getting a little late in the afternoon and um, not it, late in the morning. And I just wanted to get on the road. Basically, you know, the things I love most about this trip was the, the scenery. Um, I love the ability to be able to camp anywhere in Shawnee. I think that was really cool, um, <clears throat> especially because, you know, you don't have to you don't have to pay to camp. There are camping sites where you can pay, but and everybody down there was so nice. I met a lot of really cool people. The thing that I didn't like so much about the park is that um, there's not really many clear directions on where to go, and uh, there's a lot of driving in between going to different places, so um, you really can't spend... I could see spending a maximum of two nights in one of the wilderness areas there, but they're, they're not as big as what I thought, um, and it's kind of, <clears throat> it's kind of hard to um, spread out you know, multiple nights on one trail, um, because they're so short. There's a lot of trails and there's a lot of different places you can go to, but you can't just, um, be like, oh yeah, I'm, I'm going to hike here, 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 and here, and then I'll do one big loop and come back to my car over four nights. It doesn't work that way there. You maybe get, you'll probably get one, maybe two, but you can do a set of overnighters, which is what I ended up doing. So, um, and, and the other thing with the lack of directions is that, you know, I had people trying to like draw maps for me to tell me places where I could go and they didn't really seem to know where uh, they were sending me to. I mean, they, they knew where I was going, 
but they didn't have uh, clear directions. They didn't know how to get there. With that being said, then some things that I would have done differently is I definitely would have called the ranger station ahead of time um, just to talk to them because um, I probably could have had some maps sent to me. And I also could have um, learned a lot and, and not have been so confused about where to go when I got there. So um, the other thing I would have done differently is I would have brought some better pants because I had one pair of pants that were these Adidas, um, you know, just like, they're almost like sweatpants, like running pants, but they're, they're polyester. So they dry really quickly if they get wet. Um, and they were, but they, they have a couple of pockets and I, I really found myself wishing I had better pants, like cargo pants. Um, so I think that's going to be my next investment, um, before my next big trip. So speaking of other trips, I've got a nice, uh, long one coming up. Um, I've been talking about it here and there throughout the videos. It's, uh, my trip to the Porcupine Mountains. That's going to be happening this June, uh, the first week of June. Um, and before that, I'll be doing a couple of things too. So in, next week, I'm going with Joel Ulmer from Midwest Adventures um, and Tent Life Productions. Uh, we're going to be doing a scouting kayak trip down the Des Plaines River um, in the northern parts of Illinois because um, he's trying to plan uh, some overnight kayak trips. So we're going to take the kayak out on Saturday and I'm going to uh, try and film some of it for fun. So I'll have a nice, fun, short video for you there. And then um, in mid-May, um, I am going with my nephew's um, scout group. So, um, and we'll be doing, we're, it's it's a, a family campground. It'll be a couple of nights out there. I'm, I'm probably just going to take a few pictures um, just to have a fun video to put up. So, but yeah, so... Thank you to anybody who's watching this. I do appreciate that you took so much time out of your day to watch this, and I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was worth it. So I will see you next time. Bye. I also forgot to show you guys one thing. There was a ranger that I talked to. Um, very cool guy. He gave me a few maps. He gave me a map for the whole Shawnee National Forest. So... If I ever get to go back, um, which I definitely plan to, um, I'll be taking this with me because this is, when there's no cell phone reception, uh, this guy came in handy. Um, it was definitely helpful because um, I could see where the different wilderness areas were that I wanted to go and just follow the roads on the map to get there. So uh, that was really cool of him. He gave me a couple of paper maps that I could use for like trails and things like that. And then he also gave me a awesome Smokey the Bear bandana. So just a reminder to everybody, in case you didn't know, always give matches to an adult and be sure your campfire is out cold before leaving. All right. Oh, oh, careful, ha uh, careful campers help Smokey prevent wildfires. Yeah. Thank you, Smokey. And thank you, Tim the Ranger. Alright guys, until next time.